Can you hear me? Uh, all of you have seen this tonight. I was looking at it earlier uh, as I was waiting for dinner, and, and you look at those names, and those of us who have been around a few years I feel the same way, Dave. What a privilege it was to be rubbing elbows and to see their cattle and to go to their farms and to watch them show. And uh, it's such a privilege tonight to be able to present uh, a person like that to you. <clears throat> If the word master uh, means an artist of distinguished skill, or if it means one who has a quality of superintendence, or is qualified to teach another, or is one who is in command, then we can confer tonight the Master Breeder Award on our recipients. I feel they have all those qualities. Tremendous cows likable people, very hard-working wife is the way Gordon Cook describes these people. Horace Bacchus says unselfish, hard-working, intelligent workers that do things for their people on the quiet. They put ego in the background. Our honored couple met while showing cattle at a county fair and it's an activity of still high importance in their lives to this very day. One attended Morrisville College, while the other went to Farmingdale and graduated with a nursing degree. Married in 1970, they returned to his dad's farm. And his 320-acre farm had Holsteins, but it wasn't until the kids arrived that the focus became one of type. <clears throat> they leased the farm in 1980, and then in 1991, they bought it. Excuse me, that's not true. And, and bought it in 201. The tragedy of a devastating fire hammered this couple in 1975 and again in 2009, killing two young people in the first fire and then three animals in the second. Determined not to let fire or anything else kill that spirit, they quickly rebuilt. The last barn actually uh, was made to house a smaller operation that was just completed last September. The artists of distinct, distinguished skill from Ty Hill put emphasis on type, and they can boast 16 classifications with a BAA of 105.1 to 109.1, consistent. They received, they bred 37 excellent cows. They received 10 Dam of Merit Awards and 9 Gold Medal Awards, 14 PBR and 4 PGH. And prior to losing their office in the last fire, all the ribbons and trophies and framed awards and records were gone. But prior to that time, there was a one All New York and three Reserve All New Yorks and one Honorable Mention All New York award displayed with 10 Premier Breeder Awards and eight Premier Exhibitor Awards from the Ontario County Show, or Oneida County Show. Taihu bred Holsteins are in demand, as Dave Rama suggests, because they breed what cattle wanted uniform type cattle with outstanding legs and udders and a real will to milk. The farm earned the top herd in the county for milk production and protein 15 times and for fat 13 times. Some individuals actually received state level awards. In 2006 and 7, Ty Hill's commitment to producing high quality resulted in the top award for having the lowest somatic cell count in Oneida County, which is one of the largest milk producing counties in the United States. The Thai Hill prefix is attached to 183 cows that produced over 150,000 pounds of milk lifetime. Now much credit for this performance goes to the milker, Barb. In the early 80s, she left nursing to work full time at the farm, and when prices fell in 1991, Barb took the burden of an additional milking, a third milking, to help pay the bills and handle the extra college expenses. And for the next eight or more years, one milking blended into the next, daughter Shelley said. They practically live in the barn. Ed does all of the other barn work, feeding, and the outside work. Now, I'm told that Ed has a little bit of a problem. That occasionally he doesn't hear everything he said to him. And it's claimed that visitors to the farm could sense the nature of things simply by observing which side of Ed's bad ear Barb was standing. <laughs> I'm also told 
I had to think about this one. I hope it comes off okay. But I was also told that a wonderful hosting couple here in this area invited them to dinner one night. And I guess she's a real good cook. And so they accepted. They left. They had a nice meal. They had some drinks ahead of time. And it was warm, and they settled down to relax a little bit. And they got a little drowsy, and some people started to doze off. And <laughs> now the, the guest, the, the, the host, uh, Gary, Kathy, had a dog that snored. And this dog was under the table, and this dog started to go. And Ed thought it was Barbara. <laughs> I don't know what you said, Ed, but that's what you said. <laughs> Ed and Barb also excel in superintendents. Members of the New York Association for 38 years and 36 years at the national level, Ed is the president of his club, and he served as a state director for years. <clears throat> He's been chairman of and is still serving on the Breed Promotion Committee. Ed was co-chairperson of the 1991 uh, state convention and chairman of the 97 <coughs> convention. So we praise and we honor our master breeders for taking command as well. Among other past initiatives, both have organized and promoted seven years of highly successful New York State hosting member trips. The most recent was to Gettysburg and the surrounding outstanding farmers, including a trip to Tom McCurl's recipient solution. <coughs> it was a great trip and it was an exceptional learning experience and you have received high praise from all the participants on that uh, trip, Ed and Barb. I'm sure that next year your bus will be overflowing if the report gets out as to how good this one was. We hope so, right? <laughs> <laughs>